show and tell today. This device uh, is more than 100 years old. And uh, what is it? No, it's not some vintage sex toy. Believe it or not, this device was made to thread a needle. And it's uh, very interesting, but the reason that I'm showing it to you today is because it's made of Bakelite. Bak Bakelite was the first commercial plastic that was actually made out of simple molecules. Before that time, we had things like cellulose nitrate, that is celluloid, uh, but that was made by uh, taking a naturally occurring polymer like cellulose and modifying it. But in 1907, Leo Bakeland, uh, who had emigrated to America from Belgium, chemist, and uh, he found a way to take formaldehyde and phenol, two simple molecules, put them together to build a network, a large polymer, this became a commercially important plastic because it could be molded into all kinds of shapes. It was great as an insulating material. It revolutionized the electric industry and uh, other interesting items made out of it. This dye is made out of uh, Bakelite and as you can see, it's very attractive. I also have a flashlight that was made out of uh, Bakelite dates back uh, some 80 years. And it was also used to make jewelry. And these things have become collectible items because they are so pretty. You can make them in any color. And uh, they took the jewelry world by storm way back in the early part of the 20th century. There were hundreds of different items made out of Bakelite. Uh, the old telephones, you remember the black telephones? They were made of Bakelite. And boy, when you threw that at someone, they felt it. Not like the flimsy iPhones today, you can hurl them at someone and it just uh, bounces off. So I appreciate uh, Bakelite for its historical uh, value. Uh, interesting enough, uh, when Bakeland first came up with it, he was looking for a substitute for shellac. Uh, shellac is an exudate of the Indian lag bug, and it was used to polish furniture or to provide a coating for furniture, but it was hard to come by. So Bakeland was looking for something to substitute it, and that's how Bakelite was born. Modestly, he named it after himself. So I do have Bakelite objects, but unfortunately, I do not have a Bakelite duck. They do exist. Uh, they are rather expensive, as you can see, so I don't have one. But if uh, any of you are looking for uh, a birthday present for me, there you go. So now you know something about Bakelite and all the interesting things that it was able to do. That for today is show and tell.